Hello everybody, today I'm going to be doing a live battle. So, I just got in here. Uh, one star, so he's new. So, maybe, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do here. I got plenty of ranked up guys, but I'll just go ahead and uh, pick one of them. Give me one ninja, that should be a nice surprise. Hmm. Mm, I can't choose him. If I was to choose him, I'm going to have no money. Let's go ahead and get... I got 98 funds left. I'm using a... Ah, uh, uh, oh, sorry. It's a long night. I'm pretty tired. I'm using a uh, retainer to lower the price of the, the cost of my men. So helps out just a little bit. Maybe I'll be able to get something in there that's better. With 98, so... Hmm. Maybe not. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, that's too bad. Might be able to get that one in there. Yes. Cool. I'm gonna go ahead and call this as ready and... See what happens. Uh... Pretty late, so... I'm not sure if this guy's new to the game or not. He could just be on a new avatar and not an actual new player, which I am not going to do for a long time. Uh, let me see. I don't know the maps by the little, you know, boxes here yet or the names, so those always get me. I, I, I never really look at those because I don't really know them. You can see over here the retainers I'm using are, uh, you know, a couple of them like a clan one. Since the timer's going, I'll just show you them real quick. The Cavalry Training Network, Yoga, uh, Yagyu Sword Instructor, where my ninja join, and my trading post for minus 4% recruitment cost. Which it does help effectively on a lot of my troops when it comes to the bigger battles. Like this battle doesn't really help, but it usually does on the bigger ones that with more funds, so that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and see how this battle goes. I need time now. As it decides to see whose army is invalid. The player has an invalid army, so gotta wait. Hmm. I'm guessing not a lot of people talk in these chat things down here, because I mean I've gone into a couple of them, there's not much for talking. <laughs> I, I don't understand it, but okay. Alright. This map. Lots of water, so I'm gonna go ahead and start off right here on this little segment that's not water, it'd be easy to cross over without slowing down my army in the beginning. Usually there's two or three dojos on this map, one sometimes here, here, and here. So, let's see where they're at and see which ones there are and do what I can. I think I might try to do a walk up the hill here with my cab to keep them in the woods, keep them hidden. Not sure yet. None of my guys are veteran status yet uh, on this battle because there wasn't enough cost uh, or koku to spend for veteran units except for my calf. So I got to use them right and hopefully he didn't bring a ton of calf. But if he did, I did bring uh, Naganata Samurai, so that should help since those guys are pretty good at taking down calf <coughs> with their Naganata Spears. At least I think that's what they're holding. <laughs> I have no idea. Not when it comes to what they're actually holding as a weapon. So you saw what I chose. You know, I got two Naganata Samurais, one Katana Samurai, my Cav, and the Ninja. Ah, uh, the Cav's Yari Cav, so... Go ahead and set my Ninja up here. It's close enough to where I need to be. Uh, there's only two Dojos this time around. Let's go ahead and go for the Sword one. Like I said, I was going to... I want to keep them hidden. I'm gonna have to put them right in, right in the middle of my guys here. I'm gonna want to face them over here too. 
so let's go ahead and face him like this. Alright, cool. Walk them up this hill. Take my army. Alright, he brought a pretty massive army here. Bunch of Yari Ashigaru. Holy crap. These guys are pathetic though in battle. If you notice on the right, morale's at 5 and their melee's at 4. So my guys could easily take on this army. Uh, he's brought a lot of cav too. Looks like all uh, light cav and mounted Nagadai. Our hidden units have or been discovered mounted, by whatever the hell. Let's go ahead and put these guys in the sneak here. I'm gonna go ahead and take care of his. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take care of his general with my uh, ninja. Why not? If I can take out his general right away, I'm, that's gonna be a pretty big uh, killer for his army. He's already down 14 guys, 16 guys, so go ahead and do that. At the same time, let's go ahead and drag up my uh, horse here and wipe out his calf while I can. His general is in retreat. He's down to seven guys. My ninjas are now in retreat. His general has been dead, uh, been killed. And there goes my guys. So I'm going to run my calf up, go ahead and take care of his calf, so, because all his... Uh, Yari Ashigaru are down here and his uh, Naganon attendants. So he's brought a quite a bit of units for only a 5,000 Koku limit. That has a lot of units actually, so that's pretty good. Uh, thankfully this horse unit here is ranked up by Yari, uh, Yari, you know, Ash uh, Yari Cab. So they're gonna, ran, they're gonna run right through this unit here. Let's go ahead and give uh, I don't know why he's going after the, you know, arrow or archer, archery dojo. He doesn't even have any archery units, so pretty interesting choice there. My guys are down to 30. This guy's, uh, one of them is running off. I guess he's pulling them out. He's trying to pull them both out. So he's, he's letting my guys basically just take his guys out because he's pulling them out. Well, now he's lost his general. He's lost his cav units, and now all he has is 30 freaking... Yari Ashigaru units. So, okay, um, as a new player, uh, if you're new to this game, don't do this. It is a not a good idea, especially now that his general's gone, his guy's morales are going to be shot. They might not be right here, but they are, trust me. The second I get into a sword fight, these guys are just going to run like like no other. I mean, there's a lot of them. you got a, quite a few men here, but it doesn't mean anything when you're facing guys with my morale. Even though they don't have any rank or anything, I mean, that's 10 morale, 9 melee. And now right there's 10 morale and 15 melee. Now that I just captured this dojo, they're up to 11 melee. And then I got my general here that has stand and fight, so that's also going to be a big help. I'm going to go ahead and march my army up. Nice and slow, don't need to run them. So his general's gone, his two cav units are gone. <sighs> It's going to be a pretty nice walk here. I'm walking them because I don't want to tire them out before they get down here. Because even though, uh, see how he's tiring his guys out a little bit here? Uh, that'll help with me. If I tire my guys out, that's not going to help in the fight. Now, I'm not going to rush these guys up because they look like they're in spear formation or whatever here. Which is actually going to be an advantage to me once I get my cav uh, in a good position for them. Because he's going to set them up to where they're charging forward. And I'm just going to pull my cab around and him in the back. Which is going to be good because they're all facing forward. Looks like they're coming up now, setting up a line. With all this running around he's doing, he's really tiring out his guys. Which is not going to be a good thing for him when it comes time. I also don't know why he uses uh, the spear formation like this with only four groups. Uh... I mean, with four groups, I mean, I don't know why you do that with one. I don't think my calves like, what, six, you know, <laughs> 20 people left? 29 people? So, I mean, you're not going to be doing much with that. I'm going to go ahead and spread out my units here. Let's go ahead and... I keep them walking. No need to run them. Don't want to tire my guys out yet. 
uh, I'm going to have one group of uh, guys concentrate on the right side, which is going to be my Naginata Samurai over here. I'm going to have another guy uh, group handle these two up front, and then this group here handle these two on the left. At the same time, I'm going to dismount my Cav, and, or my uh, general unit, and put them in stand and fight. Heck, I don't even need to put them in stand and fight. I'll just throw them at one of the units up here, too. I'll go ahead and... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and have them charge this unit. That to there, this to here, that to there. Let's go ahead and let them get in position real quick before the charge begins. Go ahead and dismount. Alright, let's go ahead and start this charge off, shall we? Didn't want them running into that. That's just a death trap. As you can see, my my horse just ran into this barely, and is already putting them into a char uh, into a f uh, look at this. Their entire army is just <laughs> falling apart. Yes, my general is in grave danger. He, not really. I mean, they're already losing quite a bit. My general is still standing. All their units are now faltering and breaking. Uh, so that will be good game. My lord. A glorious victory will soon That is the end of the battle. I uh, hope you enjoyed watching that. That was live. I'll go ahead and get you stat screen here. That was a new player. You could totally tell. So, uh, no uh, no offense to my opponent. Uh, for the first couple battles, it looks like he's done okay for himself. He's... I don't know. I don't know what to say at that moment. He'll learn as he goes. I wasn't good at all either when I first started playing online. Uh, I didn't, you know, playing against computers is totally different from playing against a person. There's so many different tactics you can use against a person, so... So, uh, yeah. So, for his first battle, I think he did okay. Uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and, uh... Skip this here. Don't need to save it since this is live. Let's go ahead and give you unit stats on that, even though it, it was pretty obvious. Katana Samurai comes in at 106, probably an awesome charge. I did not zoom in at all in this battle, so I will go ahead and get some highlight reel out of that uh, replay up there, so I will save it. Uh, the highlight reel will be coming up next. So, thanks for watching the live uh, battle. I will probably throw this live battle in with a couple other replays, so... Hope you enjoyed this battle, and moving on to the highlight reel. Enjoy! Welcome to the highlight reel for the previous battle that you just watched. Wasn't that big of a battle, wasn't that great of a battle, the opponent was new, but I didn't get any close in shots, so I hope you enjoy what the shots you see. That was the highlight reel for the previous battle. I hope you enjoyed that. A uh, couple close-up shots for the previous battle. I know I did. <laughs> did you see that katana rush? Wow. And my general unit coming in like that? Fantastic. Some good shots there. So, uh, coming up next are a couple more replays for you. Hope you enjoy those too. 
Uh, let's go ahead and go back so we can get that started. Okay, so, uh, moving on to the next battle replay here. Uh, this battle I thought was alright. Uh, I am really confused to why people are bringing so many bows to a battle. And uh, this guy wasn't new either. He had some stars to him. Not that many, but he did. Uh, but I just don't understand it. Why are you? Why is everybody starting to bring excessive bows? What are you gonna do with that? I I hardly even bring bows. You, I mean, I don't think you see me bring bows much at all. Yeah, they're a good support unit, you know, in some cases. But I'll go ahead and give you the lineups real quick. Uh, this time I did bring a matchlock samurai with, or a matchlock warrior monk. I oh yeah, matchlock warrior monk. Uh, Naganata samurai. Katana Samurai, Katana Samurai, Naganata Samurai, Naganata Samurai, Yari Cav, and two more Yari Cavs here. These two Yari Cavs are ranked up to that little circle box thing. Not sure what that is. I really wish somebody would tell me. Uh, so are my two Katana Samurai. Uh, and this one is a two Chevron right over here, my Yari. And that's it on my side, so not that much. On his side over here, he has quite a, quite a bit. Uh, their armies always seem bigger than mine, but it's probably because I'm just... Oh, oh yeah, I forgot. My little ninja's here, too. forgot about them. Their armies so always so seem so much bigger, probably because I'm using a lot of veteran units, and they're just using cheap units. But he's got a Bo Ashigaru, Bo Ashigaru, Bo Ashigaru, Bo Ashigaru, Bo Ashigaru. So he's got a crap ton of bows. Uh, let me see. 4, 8, 12, 16, 2,000 Koku worth of bows. Wow, that's going to be 2,000 worth of Koku down the drain. He has uh, two Yari Ashigaru on the left. Two Yari Ashigaru on the right. Two light uh, uh, light calves. One, two. One light calf, two Yari calf, light calf, and two more calf here. My bow, uh, my uh, monks were just uh, spotted hidden, so I hit the stealth button and popped them right into battle. I love what happens here, so let's go ahead and put it into play and show you what happens. Our hidden units have been discovered, my lord! So the bombs come in, they come flying. I tell my ninjas to go ahead and rush this line instead. And rush it, they do. At this time, the first bow unit that I attack is already gone. See ya, bye bye. It, it lost so many, it's just like, oh, oh screw this. The guy has bombs. And my ninjas over here are wrecking the place. I've already dropped 30 of them, 32. So I'm doing pretty good. You know, it's just dropping quite a bit of them. And their horses are even dropping down to 40s and crap. And everything just keeps dropping for them. My ninjas only dropped so far like 12, 13, but whatever. I dropped quite a few of theirs. Uh, at this time, I'm slowly moving my uh, two most veteran calves through the forest so they can stay stealth. He's moving to move uh, five of his calf units around the back here. He's going to try to do a uh, flank on my units, which he does do, but not that successfully. At this time, I decide I'm going to rush this general since he's out in the open. He uh, go he goes ahead and spots that, so he's going to pull his general back to his Yari Ashigaru here. So I'm going to go ahead and go, oh, much to my right. Oh, look at that. A bunch of bow units unprotected. And look at that. My ninja unit came out victorious. So it completely wiped out a horse unit, a bow unit, and this bow unit come back from running, but this one won't be. So now I got my calf coming into the back of this bow unit here. One of them at least. The other one's going to go right into the front of this one. So right there, I just brought in two cav units and wiped out two more of their bows. They're worthlessly expensive bows. You know, four and Koku ain't that expensive, but when you bring so many of them, it is. Especially when they don't even really do anything. Killed one guy with that bow unit. Killed another one guy with that bow unit. Two guys with that one. <laughs> That's totally worth, you know, 1,200 Koku. And then the other bow unit. Um, my Matchlock Samurai over here are currently engaging these guys. These guys are just sitting here letting me, so I don't see why not. <laughs> At this time, he's going to go ahead and pull his cavil around on this side. They're pretty tired. They're running pretty slow, so whatever. Uh, and then uh, I get engaged horse against horse over here. He draws two light calves in against my Yari Ki and my ninjas that are still in the battle, uh, which ain't doing too well for them. They're getting pretty much wiped out. But he also throws in a Yari Ashigaru. So this is when I decide to go ahead and uh, have my ninja attack them and uh, try to pull out my cavalry here in a minute. At this time, I didn't see this. I wasn't paying attention over here because I was kind of sitting over there laughing. Uh, <laughs> um, 
So he went ahead and got a nice little rush in the back of my cab over here. I must have accidentally pressed this cab because they started running off going somewhere this way. That or they ran off on their own. So at this time I took my two Naganata Samurais here and just brought them into the fight, which they'll do the job. They have a 15 bonus first cab, so you just rushed right into the back of a spear unit, basically. So that works. I pulled my general back. He lost uh, two of my two units. Can't really expect to lose much when you're only like cavalry, so. At this time, I rushed my two uh, Yari Cav into this spear unit. Yeah, I know it's a spear unit. Why the hell would I do that? But I just did it to distract them. And then I'm also running a uh, Katana Samurai unit into this spear unit over here, which <laughs> they're going to do the job. They're, they're going to do it just fine, too. So, blue. Uh, these two Cav units get beat. Uh, they get beat pretty badly. Not a big deal. I dropped quite a few of their guys with that rush in there. So now I got this unit chasing down this one here. I'm going to go ahead and set them up here. His cab over here is completely wiped out. Uh, my, you know, three Naganata Samurais over here. Plenty to take out those light cab. So I have my Katana Samurai sitting here just waiting for another fight. They took care of 63 people and only lost five. So that's why Yari Ashigaru should not be used as a melee unit. Maybe as a meat shield and against a cav unit but not as a melee against a katana samurai especially one so ranked like mine with a 19 melee deadly 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 so he's gonna go ahead and charge him into my guys which doesn't really matter how much you charge it you just you're, you're gonna get slaughtered he brings up his general because his general is a bow unit so he's gonna be tossing some bows into my katana sam that's about the only thing that's actually gonna do much to them uh so now the battle is just right here on the top all my units are centered here now. No one else is out in the field. He has uh, bow units over here. Not sure why. Um, but okay. Uh, another bow unit back here. He's not doing anything with, so he's kind of letting all these units just go to waste. This time, I see my Katana Samurai is doing pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and rush up a Naganata, Naganata Samurai. His Katana Samurai is facing a lot of guys on his own. So I'll bring more to the fight. I push off my rally button. I got a cav rush coming in from behind, two light calves that are yet to completely break. So I'm going to go ahead and pull in my Nagano Samurai on their half charge, which didn't work because my guy's getting to them first. So I'm going to go ahead and start dropping them. That's basically when they start to go. I brought my uh, Samurai around here, my not my Samurai, my Warrior Monk to go ahead and start shooting their uh, General, which is when he starts to charge them into my guys, which, as you can tell, ain't working too well. That's too bad. The second he gets a horse actually into my line, his general's gone. All their lines break. It is the game. So that'll be it for this one. I hope you enjoyed this replay. I thought it was a pretty good battle, pretty uh, smooth battle. So, um, lesson here, guys, is be careful with how many bow units you bring to the battlefield. You've already seen this once in one of my replays. So, you know, you bring so many bow units, you're going to know you're going to regret it. It is just not something you should do. Unless you, you know, you're facing an... Like, I can maybe see that if I was a fall of the samurai army and all I had was guns. Because usually the bows are having a further distance than the gun. Unless they're ranked. Like, really ranked. But, um, even then I really don't... I wouldn't do it. Because you have no real up-close fighting power with bows. Yeah, you can bring out both Samurai, and they could be somewhat of a good fight up front, but not really compared to a Katana Samurai or a, a Shogatai unit. If I had my Katana Samurai unit go against a Shogatai unit, I'd beat them. I have about the same rank up, unless the Shogatai unit was really ranked, of course. But that's a different story. I'm not going to go down that path with them. <laughs> my Katana Samurai came at 218. My Kisho Ninjas came at 213. Yari Kaz both came up over 100 at 192 and 121. Matchlock Warrior Monks came at 79. That's pretty good for the price of them. Not bad, not bad at all. Let's go ahead and go to his side. His biggest one is Yari Ashigaru at 54 kills. Alrighty then. Lighty, ca uh, lighty Cav. Light Cavalry at 51 kills. Uh, and here's all his bows. Bow Ashigaru at 6. Bow Ashigaru at 2. 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, and 0. So that's a lot of Koku right there to go through nothing on, you know, six, seven bow units. Seven. Don't bring seven bow units, guys. It really is not going to work at all, ever. <laughs>
I could have taken care of the bowie and with my cavalry, really, which I basically did. So, um, yeah. I uh, hope you enjoyed that replay. I know you're going to probably think, well, it's a little uneven. I brought a bunch of ranked guys. Well, he could have done that. He could have brought some ranked. He didn't have to bring all these newbie opponents uh, or non-ranked people, especially that many bows. So, well, there you go. I hope you enjoyed that replay. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. So, yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the next one now. Okay, so another replay. You'll notice that the backgrounds are changing uh, through each replay. It's because uh, this whole video was not compiled at once. It was actually a, a couple different recordings put together. Uh, purposely done like that, though. So, let's go ahead and move on to the next replay for you. This one is interesting because the last replay you just saw is on the same map. This map. Uh, I actually don't mind this map. I actually like this map. It's interesting. It has many different points that you can attack from. I wish they'd expand the borders here of the red and the yellow to expand to this far because then you could spawn your units, you know, all around the map. Map. So you'd have three, one, two, three, four lanes of traffic here. You got this lane, you got this lane, you got this lane, and you got that lane. You'd make it for an interesting battle, but I guess they leave that for 2v2s because this looks like a total 2v2 map. Uh, that's probably what it is. I didn't even think of that till now. I'll go ahead and give you what we got for units. This one's quite different. This guy I'm facing is quite ranked, so uh, a lot more experienced than me. Uh, I'm bringing out a Matchlock Samurai this time. Not as good as the uh, the Monk Samurai, but oh well. Naganaz Samurai. Uh, one of my ranked Katana Samurai. A non-ranked Katana Samurai. A Naganaz Samurai. And my Marathon Monks. As well as a Ninja Unit way down there. Uh, and three Yari Cav. One of them, four chevron, two chevron, and no chevron. I'm going to bring this yard cab all the way over here to get the morale shrine. Uh, let's go ahead and see what he has. He has bow warrior monks, Yari Eshigaru, Yari Eshigaru, Katana Samurai, Katana Samurai, Naginata warrior monks, Avatar's bodyguard, of course, War, uh, Tasebo warrior monk heroes, and Naginata warrior monks. As well, over here he has a light cav, Naganata attendant, and I think another light cav in the forest. Uh, let's see, what is this? Nope, a Yari cav. Uh, he's trying to counter my Yari move over here to the morale shine, which is fine. I'm bringing my ninjas up for the attack, so let's go ahead and watch what happens here. I really wanted them to get this bow warrior monk unit, but since I kind of came up behind them, I just dealt with what I had. at the process dropping quite a few of them. After that first bomb throw, I went ahead and decided to charge them. Right into the unit that I just bombed. Uh, yeah, I know it's just the Arya Shigari unit, but it's going to do some mass damage, and that's a good thing. I'm going to need those that unit taken out later anyways. Uh, at this time, I decide I'm going to go ahead and continue moving up my main army. Not much of an army, but it's going to do. It's good. I, you know, I might not bring out a lot of you know numbers, but I bring out force. At this time, I see his cavalry charging in. Uh, I go ahead and draw back my cavalry to give this cavalry here time to come in and help out. I don't need them, my one cav unit getting wiped out by the two over there. So, right about now is when I'm going to go, okay, go ahead, charge. Bring him in. So I go ahead and charge this cav unit into the battle here. Yes, red versus red units. i got to love that. Well, I'm the darker red. He's the lighter red with the weird looking uh, leaf symbol. This time my two other cab units come in and start helping out. That's going to be a pretty quick battle. It's going to uh, end in my favor. Their units are already wavering because one of them's light cab. That's not going to do anything against my Yari, really. He has not got attendance over here taking this for shrine, which that would be a uh, reload rate of all missile units. But this time I have my ma match locks engaging their warrior monks, which, you know, it's not as effective as the warrior monks. I knew they wouldn't be the second I saw them, but oh well. As you can see, I'm shredding down my units as my guys take three years to reload. At this time, they break. They didn't do much. They dropped a couple of his guys. What would he do? At this time, I know that I charge now or I lose. So I bring in all my uh, force on a full-on charge. I'm also bringing all three of my cav units around the side here. I'm leaving my uh, torn-up Yari, uh, Yari cav on the, over there to take the morale shine. I'm going to go ahead and bring this charge in, though. Show you what happens. Let's 
got to get bloody. I just love when they do that, when they pancake into each other, because you just know someone just got their head chopped off. <laughs> I don't know why they stop like that sometimes. It's really annoying. I thought overall it was a good charge. At this point, I'm bringing my two calves back here. He tried to have these units head him off, but I brought one of them into his uh, bow area here, which <laughs> is just running them over. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, and then the other one, I went after his general since he dismounted. And he dismounted because he saw me do the same thing, but I'm doing it because of this. I'm going to stand and fight. He's just kind of standing there. He ain't standing and fighting. He's just standing there. So, yeah. I'm ready for the battle to push into my side because I know his units are... Uh, a little bit more ranked in certain areas, but so one of my cav units falters and breaks. I break his bow unit over here, so I decide to rush my cav into the back of this line right when it breaks. Uh, that's my guys, so I'm going to take both of them and rush it right over here. So, so far my lines are beating them pretty good. I still got these three here doing really good. Uh, my Katana Samurai Unstoppable Katana Samurais have uh, 65 kills, which ain't bad. They got into the fight a little later than everybody else, I think. At this time, it's just going to be a battle of uh, skill, really, because now he has three units left. He has this Tosiba Warrior Monk Hero, the Avatar Bodyguard, and the Naginata Warrior Monk. The only ones that are really going to give me trouble is this Tosiba Monk Heroes and the Naginata Warrior Monk. These guys are just a pain in the side, man. This this uh, Warrior Monk is 38 attack. That is, wow. It's going to drop my guys quite a bit. A lot, a bit. And they're not going to have warriors are doing pretty good, too. Go ahead and get a close-up on my guys getting shredded by this warrior monk unit. Or hero unit. This time I go ahead and break my general out of stand and fight. They get on their horses again because that's where they were the last time when I put them in stand and fight. And I didn't dismount them first. kind of wish I did. Uh, I do this because I know if I don't get in there soon with my general, these guys are just going to keep on taking my guys apart. So I go ahead and charge them into the back of it, and at this time, they start breaking. So, finally brought down the hammer there and successfully worked. This time, my entire army converges and just wipes them out. It's game over now. So, there you go. You had another battle on this map. So, two battles in a row on this map. This will be the last battle of this... Uh, commentary so I hope you enjoyed all three battles one of the first one was a live battle uh, uh, the first two opponents weren't so good but this opponent actually has some uh, you know skill and uh, experience behind him nonetheless it was all three had you know their good parts uh, kinda <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video nonetheless so um, other than that I'll go ahead and show you the stat screen and uh, that'll be it. On stats, we got my Yari Cav at 121. My Kisho Ninjas at 117. Those guys just are fantastic. My Naginata Samurais at 107. My Marathon Monks at 101. My Katana Samurais at 91. My Yari Cav at 72. And my Naginata Samurais at 69. Moving down here. Yeah, my Matchlock Samurais, they did not pay off for the funds that I spent on them. Oh, well. Uh, I'll have to do better next time with that area. On his side, his Naginata Warrior Monks got 147, his Bow Warrior Monks 127, so they did excellent for, uh, you know, probably not the cost of them, because, you know, a Chevron that high is pretty, pretty, you know, costly, I would say. So, but, did really good, and then nonetheless, 127 kills, so. His Warrior Monk Heroes got 103 kills. Those things probably cost, like, 1,500 uh, Koku for that ranked of a unit so I don't know if they did justify a, a justifiable uh, amount of kills really I don't think so and I'm not sure uh, 62 on the Naginata Warrior Monks Katana Samurai 47 so overall it was a pretty even battle but I came out on top so that works for me hope you enjoyed all three of the replays and I'll see you next time